All right, so Robinson Helicopters right. just did their show announcement, and let me tell you guys, it's pretty big. Obviously, we talked about the R88. It's not old news, still very exciting news, but this morning was more about the R66 and XG. That's the next generation of R66s. It's going to be available in three different trims, including a limited, limited edition trim called Riviera. And in fact, the very first Riviera, serial number 1500, is going to be auctioned off later this year for uh, to go to proceeds for uh, flight training and other vital uh, crucial organizations within our aviation space. Robinson is just one after the other this week with all these big announcements. All right, so it wouldn't be Verticon without making new friends, of course. And one of my new friends today is here at Robinson, Kyler Castro. First off, I don't think I've ever met a Kyler before. Really? So that's a super cool name. Thank you, uh, thank you. Kudos to your parents. Well, I've never met a Halsey in person before either. <laughs> Perfect. So, so it's a first for both of us. And actually, another first is the NXG. Uh, Kyler was actually the project manager of the NXG, so there's no better person, in my opinion, to tell us a little bit about this aircraft. But before we dive into the aircraft, just tell me a little bit more about you, your background, and your role as a project manager. Right, so I kind of got dragged into this uh, on a whim, call it luck or call it unfortunate circumstance. Um, but I've been blessed with a, a super wonderful team to pull this all together. And honestly, my thanks goes out to them um, for making this happen because it would not have been possible without them. So all the product that you see right here, it's really the result of their work. Yeah, it's so cool. And something that I've noticed over the past 12 months specifically with Robinson is the team right so we have David at the helm of course but he has a supporting cast of fantastic executives and he also has a fantastic ta uh, uh, board of engineers and other folks that make this whole machine run so let's go uh, and explore the new NXG all right so NXG clearly next generation and that uh, extends to the avionics so Kyler talk to me just a little bit about what we're seeing upgraded wise on the avionics in the new NXG. Right, so there are actually going to be two different consoles on the NXG. Um, there will be one with dual seven, GDU 700Ps from Garmin, um, as well as two different GTN options um, to go with that, a GTN 635 and a GTN 750. That second console option is going to consist of a GTN or GDU 700P, as well as a GDU 1060, um, as well as that GTN 750. Yeah, so essentially what Kyler is saying is this thing is stacked. Uh, David even talked about a 3 axis Texas Autopilot. I didn't know that was a thing for Robinson. Tell me a little bit more about that. So that's actually a new feature um, going through certification right now for Garmin Autopilot, and that's going to be a Garmin three-axis system. Um, and these will come standard on all levels with two axis. The Riviera, Riviera will have that three-axis uh, Autopilot as standard. Man, that's so cool. Standard three-axis. And as a reminder, the Riviera, correct me if I'm wrong, but it's being auctioned off uh, in, in, it sounds like a couple months, proceeds are going to go Go to different charities. That's such a neat concept uh, to be able to give back to the community. I want to learn more about this helicopter, specifically some of the new interior and some of the finishes, so let's go talk about that. All right, so avionics, of course, as a pilot, I love to see the new features. Standard two-axis autopilot and then standard three-axis on the Riviera. But something else that really catches the eye is the finishes. So other helicopters and other OEMs have, uh, over the years, really stepped up their interior game with having really nice uh, you know, upholstery uh, and just really elevating that look, specifically tailored to the more corporate or private owner. Kyler, I'm seeing that this, uh, the NXG is, is like that now. So tell me a little bit about the inspiration of the finishes that we're seeing and what are you guys hoping to achieve? Well, we're really hoping to modernize the look of the R66 with this one. I mean, I'm sure you've seen a Robinson before, you've sat in a Robinson of before. Of course. Uh, it's a classic design, don't get me wrong, but it is a little bit dated by today's standards. Of course. So, make it a little, look a little better and hopefully get people to feel better about owning a Robinson. Yeah, absolutely, right? Uh, it's, it's, it's all in the detail. And looking at these seats here, they look incredible. I, I personally love the white. And look, there's nothing wrong with the past, right? Right, right. I don't mean to imply that, sorry. <laughs> 
We're talking about a company that has 50 years of history, and within that 50 years, I don't think that there hasn't, no, there really hasn't been much innovation on the interior. So I'm so glad to see that Robinson is stepping that up. I do want to ask you about one more thing. David was talking about this crash, uh, not crash resistant, but bird resistant lighting, something like that. So Can you speak to that? We do actually, and that's actually going to be up in the nose um, for more of that. I mean, we've got some forward LEDs here that'll pulse, but they're actually putting LEDs in the landing and taxi lights. Um, so there will be a pulse option for greater visibility to birds and other pilots. Yeah, that's awesome. Obviously, any any time an OEM can increase safety is just so important. They have it with the bird uh, resistant window. They're doing it with avionics, certifying a, a three axis autopilot, all the bells, all the whistles. The NXG is just totally stepping it up. Kyler, congratulations to you and your team for pulling this off. Uh, what a turnaround. Robinson has been here and they've been proud and they've been awesome for so many years. And it's just so fun to see this new innovation, not just with the R88, but of course with the R66. Thank you, Halsey. Thanks, dude. Awesome. Thank you Pleasure. so much.